The violence began with two juvenile detainees at Casuarina Prison attacking a youth custodial officer with an iron bar. They took her keys and opened units, freeing the other 11 detainees before they all climbed onto roofs. The ability for a prisoner or a detainee to get keys is probably one of the most significant events we've had in my uh, time within the prisons. Once a detainee or a prisoner gets keys, it ceases to be a prison. Buildings were damaged. One was flooded when the fire extinguishing system was activated. The last detainee came down from the roof at about a quarter past two in the morning, by which time several guards had been injured, one with a broken foot. And when you're short of staff, incidents like this can erupt instantaneously. And it was lucky yesterday that it was contained, uh, that more people weren't injured. Um, and we're predicting that this will happen more into the future. When they do these sorts of things, it's unacceptable, it's shocking, it's appalling. I have no time for it. I think the vast majority of the public has no time for it either. It's the latest in a string of disturbances involving juvenile offenders. The Premier says some juvenile offenders need to be in custody for the protection of the public, given the crimes they've committed. Things like rape, arson, driving a car at a police car, uh, multiple, multiple, multiple aggravated burglaries, um, serious aggravated assaults, grievous bodily harms. The union representing youth custodial officers says the Department of Justice needs to do more to protect the health and safety of its employees. The state opposition says the government needs to stop castigating juvenile offenders and provide meaningful rehabilitation. David Webber, ABC News.